so it's asking us to graph this with the following vertices yeah let me show you this maybe you can do the, the other one because these are short and they're all the same yeah. so we have a square this is the real axis this is the imaginary axis so we've got uh, plus one minus one we've got i and minus i okay so let's see what we make here we make a square all right minus one one i minus i okay now first thing first uh this guy here e to the three z yeah is this analytic yes e to the three z is analytic everywhere because uh, no matter where you approach from uh, the derivatives are all the same Uh, wait the vertices no I think she means I think she means the vertices are uh, plus one plus I so uh, so that's this uh, plus one minus I that's this minus one plus I that's this and minus one minus I that's this that's how I understood the question Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. So this is analytic everywhere. Yeah. Now, uh, what's ln two? Ln two. If you put it on the calculator, it's definitely less than one because ln e is one. Let's see what it is. Point eight. Point seven. Something. It's 0 0.693. Okay. 0 0.693. Um, so what does that theorem says? If you remember that theorem says, if you have f of z, right, over z minus a, if I'm not mistaken, and if you, so, so here f of z is e to the 3z, and if f of z is analytic uh, everywhere and including point A, uh, then the closed integral of f of z over uh, z minus a dz is equal f of a. Am I right? Let's go up. I, 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 this is the theorem. This is called Cauchy integral formula. Yeah. Yeah, if f of z is analytic on and inside a simple closed curve C, which it is in this case, the value of z at z equals a, so that's f of a, inside C is given by the following contour integral. Oh, I forgot the 1 over 2 pi i. Yeah, so there's a 1 over 2 pi i here. The closed integral of f of z over z minus a dz has to equal f of a. Yeah, this is Cauchy. Okay, well, uh, then uh, that means this, uh, you know, this uh, uh, is, uh, satisfies this. So f of z is e to the 3z. So that means I can immediately say that the closed integral of fz over z minus a dz then has to equal f of a times 1 times 2 pi i. And what's a? Well, if you look at the integral, a is ln 2. So that means the integral of e to the 3z, does just apply this on the function we have over z minus ln 2 dz, is just 
f of a, so that's f of ln 2 times 2 pi i. And what's f of ln 2? Well, f of z is e to the 3z. So f of ln 2, you just replace a with, uh, I mean z with ln 2. So this becomes e to the 3 ln 2 times 2 pi i. And what's e to the 3 ln 2? Well, this is the same thing as e to the ln 2 cubed times 2 pi i. Uh, so this is the same thing as 2 cubed times 2 pi i because e to the ln 2 cubed is uh, 2 cubed, 2 pi i. So this becomes 2 to the 4, which is 16 pi i. This answers what the integral for e to the 3z over z minus ln 2 dz is using Cauchy integral. Wait, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be eight? 2 cube is 8 times 2 is 16. There's another 2 here. Huh? Oh, right, right, right. So that's how you evaluate these integrals when they're in the swarm. When they're in the swarm, it's easier to uh, exploit Cauchy integral formula uh, in order to do that as long as the function is analytic and as long as point A is contained uh, inside C which it is because uh, uh, because uh, point 0.69 is contained within uh, minus 1 to 1 and minus i to i